I'm looking very cash and comfy today. Hey you, what up? Mariam here, welcome back. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are testing new makeup to find out what's new in makeup for the month. This is a video that is a favorite of mine. I really love to play around with makeup to see what all the makeup brands have in store for us, to slap it all onto my face to create a look. This is what I do a couple times a month sometimes more than a couple of times. But basically, like yourself, I'm here to find out what's new and what's up. So let's hit it. What's new in makeup for this month? Three, two, one, one, two, three. Subscribe if you aren't already. Notification bell and let's get into it. Okay, so I just realized I have no new primer and I actually don't even have an old primer in front of me. So today I guess I'm gonna have to skip primer, but I do have the Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer in this new travel size that I'm gonna mix in with my L'Oreal True Match Nude, the Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. Really like this one. And so today I'm just gonna do something a little different and see how that works out for me. I don't know if you can tell, but my eyebrows are not done, which means that I have a new eyebrow product to test out. Oh, I know. But first base, all right, I'm gonna use the shade Pyrite. So these are existing shades, just the packaging is different and it's smaller sizes. I'm gonna squeeze out a bit of that, maybe a good amount of that. I really like this color Pyrite. It is so glowy and so pretty. And you know what? I never do this, but today I kind of feel like doing it. I feel like mixing everything in with my fingers. My skin is finally healing. It's starting to look a little bit better, but it really took a while this time. At least 10 days, if not two weeks to stop breaking out. And now I'm left with all these acne marks and all these dark spots. Wow, I really do feel like Meredith, the foundation girl, spreading this with my fingers like a makeup cleanser. I don't know how she does it and manages to look flawless at the end, but this technique is just so uncomfortable for me. I don't like feeling makeup on my fingers. My fingertips have always been very sensitive. And so, you know, this is not the most intuitive method for me personally. Okay, looks like the face base is on. I am gonna probably take a beauty blender. This one from Fenty. This one's still just a little bit damp. Maybe I'll dampen it even further with this oven. And then I'm just gonna spread this as evenly as I can. I'm just kind of press in the product and remove some product wherever it feels a little heavy. But I do appreciate the glow. The glow definitely feels very fresh and very current. Next thing I'm gonna do is add my concealer, the Bobbi Brown Shade Beige. This is the full cover concealer that I've been wearing a lot lately with the weird wand, but I like this one a lot. It covers everything, but it doesn't look too makeup-y. And right here, I still have a couple of breakouts, so I'm gonna use that to just disguise and brighten. I'm gonna go back to the Fenty Beauty Blender, or rather a sponge, Beauty Blender is the brand, not the actual name of the product. So let's chat, shall we? I had a really, really, really great weekend. Today is Monday. I filmed my Wednesday videos on Monday. So I am feeling nice and refreshed from the weekend. I had my brother and sister over since Friday and Lee, our swatch model, was actually away. He was in Chicago for a bachelor party. So it was really nice for me and my siblings to get some alone time, some siblings time. It was nice and enlightening. We actually played this game that I was recommending over on my IG stories. It's called Let's Get closer and it's a cards game in which you ask questions that kind of help you strengthen your bond and become closer. So we were playing this game and it was just so enlightening and so wholesome and just such a positive experience. I'm actually gonna link this game down below because I totally, totally, totally recommend it to everyone, to couples, to siblings, to parents with teenage kids, or even to friends. The questions are absolutely not raunchy. They are totally PG, but very good. So it feels like a fun therapy session in a sense, you know, without all the trauma. So we had a great time, despite the weather being really bad over the weekend, we made the best of it. We went to the mall and while it rained, while it stormed for like four days straight, and we just sat at home. We snacked on our all of our favorite foods and we played Let's Get Closer. And it was so fun. It was so, so fun and so necessary. All right, I'm using the Dominique Cosmetics Rosita Powder for my my under eye. I'm not gonna use it anywhere else just yet. Uh, I'm gonna actually stop before I get carried away because I almost put powder all over my face and I have so many products that I still wanna test out that are in the cream category, so I need to stop with the powder right now. <laughs> okay, so I have something cool from ColourPop and it is their new light sticks and bronze sticks. This is the pamphlet. Basically, we have some uh, contour and bronzing shades 
of these sticks and also some highlighters. And this is the package. Thank you, ColourPop, for sending it over to me. I'm gonna try these out. Kinda wanna do a contour shade instead of a bronze shade. Now I'm gonna go for the shade La Jolla Cove. It looks like it's like a medium bronzy shade. So what the stick looks like. Got a decent amount of product in there. I wish they had some prices, but judging by the fact that this is ColourPop, this is probably fairly affordable. The color, of course, does not match the color on the printout. And I was going for something a little bit more cool. And this, to me, reads very warm. So let me go ahead and actually open up all the others. Here we have Manhattan Beach, which is the deepest. Here we have Rincon which looks very warm. Shell Beach looks very chocolatey. Laguna is very light, but cool. First cool one. And the last one is Moonstone. Moonstone looks like a nice bronzy shade. I think I'm gonna go for this one. This is really smooth, you guys. Very, very smooth. I like it a lot. Yes, I actually did just contour my nose. There's a slight funky smell with this, like a little bit chemically, I guess. I'm gonna add a little bit of the Rincon. I'm gonna let that chill. I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender. And I called it a beauty blender once more. I'm gonna buff that out. That looks really, really seamless. Really, really seamless. Oh, like actually incredible. ColourPop, this is really impressive. This reminds me of the LYS Beauty Stick Bronzer. I really like the color. I think it looks believable, like a beachy tan. I do wish they kind of had a little bit more contour shades, like something cooler. But if you like to bronze up with cream products, you will like this one. Very, very smooth, super easy to blend. I mean, look at that. It definitely does become one with the skin. So I appreciate that a lot. Very nice. I'm gonna take this brush. This one's from Pure, though I don't know if they make it still. I'm gonna blend out the shadow underneath my lip, and then I'm gonna proceed to the nose contour. I literally never ever do this, but sometimes it must be done. I'm just gonna get rid of this uh, extra shadow that I created under my brow. I'm gonna buff it out because I don't like that shadow on me. I far prefer this area to be flatter because with my features, connecting the nose contour to the brow bone makes my brows look heavier as if I have this like Neanderthal looking brow and I'm just like not into that look on me. So I like to keep it <laughs> kind of disconnected. I like to keep my nose away from my brows. Okay, next, I wanna test out the light sticks, which are the highlighter version of the bronze sticks. And if they are as creamy as these bronze sticks, then this might be my new fave. I really love an easy highlighter lately. I've actually been using mostly ColourPop highlighters, the Super Shock formula, because they're just so cushiony, they're so easy to apply with your fingers, they're really easy to blend out, and they look very natural. I haven't really been reaching for those super beaming, booming, blinding highlighters of 2017, but if this is as easy as the Super Shock, but as bright as the 2017s, then it might be something for me. All right, here is shade Ignite. This is the deepest shade, like a nice bronze. Ooh, I could see myself using this on my collarbone because my body is a lot darker than my face. This is the shade Molten Hot. It's like a beautiful gold, really, really stunning. I'm gonna actually apply that right here. Ooh, really nice, really, really nice. And then the lightest one is called Glazy. And this looks like a pale pearlescent yellow. I think I like that a lot. Ooh, I'm gonna take my beauty blender once more. I feel like this doesn't blend out as easily as the bronze stick. I'm not sure why exactly, but it's definitely easier to blend using tapping motions with the finger rather than the blender. Like this is good, but not super, super, super easy. All right, not bad. We're getting somewhere. I'm gonna use the Jones Road pencil, shade nine. As always, definitely needs to be sharpened. I'm gonna use that to cover up my spots that are still healing. God, I love this pencil so much for spots. Oh, and one more right here. This zit has been sitting here for two weeks. I'm not exaggerating. And it still hasn't come to a point where I can demolish, demolish. it. So it has been bothering me a lot. All right, so now that I have the cream base, I'm gonna go ahead and set all that. I'm gonna use my Essence 16 hour cover and last foundation that I love. My big old Jones Road brush that I also love. Forgot to blend out this highlighter here. It's gonna mattify the perimeter of the face and also my forehead. And then I'm gonna use my Kabuki brush for the center of the face with my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil to smooth down the pores. Looking kind of good. For blush, I have so much newness, as always, because this year is the year of the blush. First of all, I have this really cute Physician's Formula Strawberry Jam Blush. Looks like it's little strawberries in a jelly or in a jam. I also have this really cool looking blush from the brand Winky Lux. And wait till you see it. 
This is so, so cute. It's a rose. It's an actual rose. This is actually a cream blush. So you know what? I think I'm gonna save it just for looks. Man, it's pouring rain yet again. Okay, so I'm not gonna go for the cream blush. I also have a number of other blushes in powder format. And I guess this is the one that I'm going to go for because I'm so excited for this. Fool Fantasy Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty X, Laura Lee Los Angeles, from my booze, Laura and Manny, AKA Mom and Dad, and look at this collection. This is so pretty. I, of course, am in love with the Pink Blossom shade, and I think this is such a genius collab. Not only are they collabing with each other, and they are best friends, but they're also collabing between their brands. I'm here for this. I feel like this is not only gorgeous, but also genius, so I'm gonna go ahead and slap this onto the face. Although I'm loving the look of the Pink Blossom, I am thinking I kinda also really love the look of Peachy Keen, so I think I'm gonna go for this one. All right, I'm gonna take this Sigma Skin Perfecting Brush, dip into this Peachy Keen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna lightly dab that around the highlighter and between the bronzer shade. Oh baby, the skies are mad. Weather gods are not playing. In fact, the weather has been so bad that Lee's flight was delayed for almost an entire day yesterday. He was supposed to get home around 4 or 5 p.m. He got home at around 1 a.m. and he was actually the only person who made it from his original flight because he was able to rebook and just like move quickly. Sadly, his luggage did not make it and is still in Chicago, but hopefully we should be hearing back from United any minute now. If I didn't have my brother and sister over for the weekend, I would have probably felt a little bit depressed by myself. And I'm only saying this because, and most of you are probably listening like, what are you talking about? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with bad weather and being by yourself. But the thing is, is that Lee and I have been together for over 20 years. We have been working together for near 10 years and we're hardly ever apart. So for him to be away for four whole days is like a big deal to me. But it was also very much necessary and needed for both of us. So it was definitely a good experience. But with the rain, I'm just glad my brother and sister were here to keep me company. I am loving this blush. It is so, so cute. I think I wanna test out one of these highlighters as well. I'm gonna use my Laura Lee Los Angeles brush. This is brush number L36. I'm gonna reach for Gold Fantasy. Ooh, this feels very, very smooth on the brush. Let's see how it feels on the skin. Oh, this is absolutely stunning. This looks wet. Oh, I'm into it. I am into it keeping her. Of course, we also have some brushes and an eyeshadow palette from the Foolish Fools of Fool Coverage and Fool Fantasy. So I'm gonna test that out in a bit. First, I actually wanna go to another dear friend of mine's new launch. I am talking about Dominique Cosmetics' new brow products. I swear they are somewhere here. I took them out of the PR package. Basically, I am talking about the latest brow blade from Dominique Cosmetics and also a brow gel, but I'm particularly excited about this brow blade because it is so cool and it is innovative. It kind of reminds me of those Korean or Japanese brow blades that you often see on TikTok with the really cool shape super, super flat, but wide on the other side so that you can fill in, but also create tiny hair strokes. The cool part about this pencil is that it actually has a spoolie and also a sharpener on the other side. So you can always maintain this super, super sharp slanted shape. I don't know if I've ever been more excited about a brow product. Usually I'm not excited about them at all, but Kristen Dominique to me is like the queen of chameleon brows. She can literally do any brow shape. They all look good. She can make her brows straight or thick or fluffy. She does it all. And so I feel like this product is very representative of her. I am gonna go for shade soft black brow Brown, or maybe the cool deep brown. I don't know, I'm gonna keep them both handy. But my eyebrows are very, very, very dark. They don't match my hair at all. They are many shades darker. Right now there's powder on them, so you can't really see. I can't use any warm brown brow pencil. It always looks like I made a mistake. So I'm gonna start with the cool deep brown. I'm gonna first use the brush and brush out this gold. <laughs> This random gold highlighter that is still kind of chilling in my brows. I'm gonna get rid of all of that. I'm gonna brush my brows up just so I can see the baseline like that. And then I'm gonna use this blade, ooh, to draw a line on the bottom, filling in all the sparse areas. Wow, that was really quick and easy. This shade Cool Deep Brown is 
perfect, actually. And the pencil itself is very soft and powdery and not waxy, thank God. I do not like waxy brow pencils. That was a really, really, really pleasant experience. I enjoyed that a lot. All right, I'm gonna go back to the brush, blend it out. If you have very sparse brows, this will be the perfect product for you because it's really quick and easy. And if you need to fill in your brows fast, this gives you the option to do that. All right, on my other brow, I'm gonna use shade Soft Black Brown, which I think is the deepest shade. First, I'm gonna brush out the brow, get rid of any of that remaining gold from the highlighter. Ooh, this is perfect too. So this shade matches my brows a little bit better, but because it matches my brows, it doesn't actually match the hair on my head. So I think I could probably get away with using either one. I'm gonna do the straight line or the baseline, if you will. Fill it in, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I'm just gonna spread the product a little bit in the areas where my brows are a little bit more sparse, which is right here in the center. I'm gonna take that Kelly Baker brush and just sharpen and clean up underneath. I think that looks damn good. And now for the brow gel. This is called a brow blowout shaping gel. I like that it feels very, very, very sticky. It's my kind of vibe, but the real test will be right here in these stick straight hairs that are very, very unruly. Let's see if this brow gel will actually keep them tamed. So far, so good. Wow, that brow looks extremely, extremely clean. I'm gonna back comb. I'm gonna glue those brow hairs to each other. I'm not actually sticking them to my skin because I did apply the pencil first and I don't want to create any sort of weird layering. But so far, this looks really, really good. Definitely a heavier, thicker brow shape than I've been doing lately. But if you have thinner brows, if you have really fine brows, you will probably really like this product. It's very easy to use, very intuitive, and it gets the job done. I'm impressed. All right, let's move on to Cool Fantasy eyeshadow palette. First of all, this palette to me, it does not translate on camera. When I look at it with the naked eye, there are so many different color shifts within some of these sparkly metallic eyeshadows like this one and this one here and even this that the camera just cannot possibly capture all of the nuances. And so I have to give you kind of that little bit of a disclaimer. This looks so much better in real life and not to say that it doesn't look good on camera, but just imagine that it actually looks even better in real life. I'm really into all of these colors. They are very ethereal, but also very wearable. I like the fact that this is kind of reminding me of Laura's Holiday Palette, which was one of my favorite Laura Lee Los Angeles palettes of all time. And I love the format of Lunar Beauty palettes, like more eyeshadows and lots of variety. I love the fact that there's tons of nudes and neutral shades. The fact that there's a black is great. So let's get going. Let's start dipping. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over my movable lid. Gonna get rid of any creases or oils, just like that, and just like that. All right, I'm gonna go for this green vibe. I'm just drawn to it for some reason. So I'm gonna grab this Sigma Diffused Blend brush, dip it into this shade Trivia, which is like um, olive, but slightly limey shade. If olive and lime had a baby, it would be an avocado. So yeah, maybe this is an avocado shade. I'm gonna apply this directly to my crease, or I guess like the eye socket of my eye, so slightly above my natural crease, but just defining the eye socket. I'm gonna blend that out, pull that out a little bit. Alexa, read me the notification. One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Skincare products has arrived. Who orders skincare around here and why? I say that because we have a Sephora store worth of skincare. I feel like this color is not translating on camera. It's coming off a lot more tan and brown and a lot less green, but with the naked eye, you definitely see that avocado, limey, olive shade, and it's so pretty and it's so unique. But I'm not really seeing that translating in my monitor. Hmm. Whether it's translating or not, I love what it's doing. I'm gonna pull that out towards the tail end of the brow. I like it. All right, next. Fool's Gold is a beautiful, metallic, shifty shade that gives me lizard vibes. It looks like a color of butterfly wings or something you see in nature. It's just so stunning. And it definitely looks gold and it also looks green. So I am totally, totally into it. Applying that with my finger all over the lid. Oh, so good. Okay, obsessed. I've never seen a color like this before. I love it. I think it's super flattering. It's super cool and I'm into it. But of course we need a pop. So I'm gonna reach for Mora, which is Manny and Laura. I'm gonna add that to the center. So this is a lot more limey and a lot more sparkly, but the sparkles are so effervescent. Ooh, that really adds that necessary pop. Oh my God, I am in love. I am truly, truly in love. This looks so good. I wanna go somewhere. Despite the rain. 
I love how shifty this is. When I turn my head from side to side, I can see the eyeshadow shifting from green to gold to orange. Let me do a little close-up video for you guys. I don't know if it captures it. For the highlight, I'm going for this shade here called Girlies, which is just like a champagne-y shade. And not just like a champagne-y shade. It's a really pretty, sparkly champagne-y shade. And I love it. These shadows are really, really great quality. Another keeper. For the mascara, I have something new from Physicians Formula, and it is their new Unstoppable Hold Brow Gel. I thought this was a mascara. <laughs> Womp, womp. Okay, we are saving this for our next video. I thought I had a mascara. I actually do not. So I'm just gonna have to reach for something old. That's not even that old. CoverGirl Cleantopia. I've been using this one a lot lately. I like it a lot. And so I'm gonna reach for it again. Boom. All right, for the lips, I have a number of things that are new, but I want to specifically try out the new products from Kosas. We have three new well, actually two new and one kind of old product. We have the wet lip oil. We also have the tinted lip balm. And last but not least, we have a one swipe lip color. So these are three new-ish products that I wanna test out. Pretty sure these two are brand new and this one maybe just has some additional new shades. But basically I have all the colors here in front of me and I just wanna see what we're working with. I'm gonna go for this Island High lip balm shade. This looks like a pretty neutral Shade. Oh, that looks and feels really gorgeous on the lips. Very, very balmy, but with a hint of color and not just a hint, more than a hint. Hmm. This has a gorgeous glaze, really nice glassy type of finish. I like it. And there's tons of shades for pinks to browns and everything in between. I really like this. I kind of want to try the one swipe color. This is supposed to be the pigmented version of this, but to be honest, this is pretty pigmented to me. I'm going to go for this shade called Turned On. This is a very pretty shade. This feels like a traditional lipstick. Definitely pigmented, definitely very creamy, comfortable on the lips, but I kind of like the finish of the lip balm a little bit better. I'm a huge fan of pigmented lip balms as opposed to sheer ones. I appreciate the sheer ones too, but the pigmented ones just make it a little bit more exciting for me. And I love the finish that looks very, very glossy without actually feeling droopy or dripping rather. <laughs> so as much as I love this, I think the formula of this is just a little bit better. I'm gonna add this shade Sunset Simmer right on top for that little bit of gloss. You see that? That shine is just unmistakable, I love it. And with that, I think I'm pretty much done with my whole entire face. So this is the current what's new in makeup face for the month of June. We're almost done with June and let's kind of go over everything. Mm, this really does feel very comfortable on the lips, but let me go over everything that I've tried. The first thing that impressed me was definitely the ColourPop bronze sticks. The two that I used, uh, Manhattan Beach and Rincon Point, were really nice colors for me. They weren't too bronzy or too cool. They were like that perfect right in between the shade. Though I will say with this formula, I would love to have a set of contour sticks, like truly cool shades that would just be for shadows, not for adding a bronzing tan. But these were really, really easy to use, really easy to blend out. They became one with the skin and I really appreciated that. I can't say the same for the light sticks, the highlighter sticks. These felt a little bit drier upon blending, not upon application, though they were still totally fine. They performed just as good. I'm definitely not going to get rid of those. I'll probably use the gold and the deeper shade on my body if I'm going to the beach or if I want to just look a little bit more glamorous on my collarbone and whatnot. So I really, really appreciated that product. The second thing that impressed me was definitely the Dominique Cosmetics new brow blade. And I gotta say the brow glue is actually probably a unique product because it is totally able to groom my brows. I did not actually glue them to my skin, but the fact that they are all glued to each other and they do not feel hard is something that I haven't really seen before. They also don't feel sticky. They feel just a little bit more solid than my brows normally do, but they don't feel like there's a hard plastic over them. There's absolutely no white residue. So to me, the brow gel is a unique product that is kind of hard to come by. Of course, I enjoyed the brow blade. This is not how I typically wear my brows. This is a lot of product for me because I usually like to use a really thin brow marker to just define brow hairs and add little strategic hair strokes wherever I need it. But that's just because my brows are naturally on the full side. They are very, very dark. And so for me, less product is actually more, but I will absolutely 
really reach for these for the time where I want my brows to be a little bit more solid like this, a little bit more perfected. And of course, I can also use the fine point once I sharpen the edge just to add a little individual brow strokes. I think the pencil was very, very soft, very easy to use, super intuitive, and definitely up my alley. Not waxy at all. I knew I was gonna be impressed with this product, so I'm not even surprised, but I really, really like it. Next, from our favorite Foolish Fools, Manny and Laura, and their full coverage collab between Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles. I really love this palette. Like I said, it's even prettier in person than it is on camera. There's so much nuance to these eyeshadows that you can really only see with the naked eye, but I appreciate the thought that went into it. I think this is gorgeous, and I also think it is really smart for them to partner together on this unique sort of collab. I really like it. I'm gonna continue using this. Love the look that I was able to create. I also really love this palette. I enjoy having highlighters and blushes and even a bronzer shade in one. This is something that makes travel makeup very easy and it just makes sense. I am a fan. What else? I really am enjoying this lip combo and particularly I'm enjoying how this lip product feels on my lips. It feels like a chapstick or a lip balm, yet it offers so much color and so much pigment. I'm probably leaning a little bit more towards the lip balm just because I love that wet shine that it gives, but not to say that the one swipe color lipstick is bad, it's actually really nice, but it's something that I've seen before from other brands. It's just a really good traditional creamy type of lipstick. So that pretty much settles it. I think those are all the products that I can remember that stood out. If I've forgotten something, it is not my fault, it is the product's fault, but overall everything has worked really nice for me today. This was a really pleasant trial of what's new in makeup, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So thanks for sticking until the end. Remember to subscribe if you aren't already, and notification bell, and more videos over here. Peace out, and I'm out, deuces.